Ahoy, friends. Welcome to Building the Alpha Dory. I'm Dan, and this is a project to build a Chamberlain Alpha Dory from John Gardner's The Dory Book, illustrations by Sam Manning. Today we're going to be out in the shop finishing riveting the number three planks, getting ready to uh, put on the shear planks. So it's looking like these first two rivets um, are actually well up in the bows of the boat. Now that we've got the uh, <coughs> the bracing off the stem, we're able to get right up in here and swing a hammer pretty good. So let's do that and get this riveted up. So, planning on adding in some oak frames to reinforce this portion of the boat. I'm sorry, some oak ribs. It will be riveted in bent in and then riveted in to uh, reinforce this bow area, which is a traditional way of doing it. Those won't be going in until we've got the, uh, got the rest of the uh, planking on though, so we don't have to do that right now. But yeah, that's the last of the riveting on the number three strikes. At the bow, at least. So now we're back towards the stern at this point. Okay, so we've got a good length of rivet showing through the, uh, to the inside of the boat. So I could go a little bit, I could go a tiny bit lower on this plank, but you can see that we're pretty close to the same spacing as the, as the set of rivets below it, so. So pretty good that way. We've got plenty of rivet to uh, <coughs> to peen over here. So 
Good. That's tightened up nice. Not a big, uh, not a big gap in this planking back here anyway. So there's not really a lot to take up. But it did uh, snugged up nice. So that's good. I'm really liking the uh, <clears throat> the shape we've got here. It's uh, there's definitely some hollow to the planking aft. It's kind of interesting. And then this this plank is kind of coming up, so it's 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 coming this way. Uh, you typically don't think of uh, shape in a what is a straight frame line, but there's definitely hollow in this. So. Uh, Do is I'll bump down and uh, take this in tight here. As you can see, there's away a little bit from the plank there. Now that we've got it here, Like this is the backing block that I haven't been using recently. It's got a little bit of <coughs> rust on the uh, riveting face, so I'll grab the one that I've been using right along. Yeah, here it is. This is it. Not sure. Uh, I had the other one out for doing some uh, riveting on Centennial's uh, stove stack. So that's got a good shape to it. <clears throat> now let's see if we can put a put one in back here. So I'll cinch that up.
got a little bit of a little bridge here that I'm working under. <coughs> Okay, so we've got this pretty well fastened along. Um, a little tiny bit of movement back here, but that's not going to change the way the, uh, the board comes in. So now I think what I'll do is I'll drill the rest of the uh, holes and then I can just focus on the nails and the rivets. I won't have to swap back and forth. Checking where these are coming out on the plank a little bit. On the outer plank. Yeah, we're in a good spot. Just uh, you know, down near the bottom edge of the outer plank. So <clears throat> that's working. That's another benefit of putting in a few as you go along. You can 
tell where the drill was coming out on the outside plank. Uh, and then you can you know, drill a bunch of them. See, and there you, you know you're not too high or too low. We've uh, had some cool weather as of late. Had a snow flurry come through on Friday. A bit of a freeze. And it didn't stick to the ground either. It was uh, you know, melting as quick as it hit the ground. But, uh, yeah. It's a pretty early snow for, uh, you know, before Thanksgiving. We've definitely had Thanksgiving snows before. In fact, this year, I believe we had one.
but uh, yeah. <clears throat> Hoping to get Centennial in this coming weekend. For a little trip over to Essex. We'll see, uh, see if that happens or not. But it's uh, something that I'm trying for anyway. Also hoping to get out another uh, <coughs> sailing video about Centennial and uh, Alfred Johnson's trip across the Atlantic. Should be an exciting, exciting one. So we'll see. See when I get that together. Gather those uh, nail, nail bends for the uh, copper bend. So uh, looks pretty good. You can see the oh, one more to go.
Yeah, so it's, uh, like I was saying, it's been cooling off during the evenings. <clears throat> which is, uh, in pretty ideal conditions for a, uh, Coastal cruising boat with a little, a little stove aboard. The other thing is uh, the days are getting significantly shorter. days are getting a lot shorter, so, so you end up only getting uh, usually one tide per day, <clears throat> you know, one high and one low, whereas uh, during the summer months you'll oftentimes have uh, either two lows or two highs during the day. <clears throat> But, um, yeah, you definitely need to tweak your, uh, your sailing schedule a bit to accommodate the, uh, the low light. Now I'm going to be, <coughs> um, the trip to Essex is, uh, all in sheltered water behind, um, well, I suppose I could go outside uh, to get from uh, from the Ipswich to the Essex, but I can go right through uh, Fox Creek, which is what I'm hoping to do uh, if the conditions are ideal. If the conditions aren't great for going through the creek, then maybe I'd uh, go out and around. Um, and by conditions, I mean the time of tide and the wind direction. With the wind behind you, you can slide right up the creek. Um, but we'll see see about that. <clears throat> it's not a long trip either way. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, it should be a nice little journey if I'm able to make that work out with my work schedule and my time off for uh, Thanksgiving and whatnot could be just perfect, we'll see. But um, yeah, other than that, I'm hoping to get some, uh, some new videos uploaded that have to do with uh, sail making for the Alpha Dory. So that should be a real fun experience. Uh, introduce you to the sail makers. Uh, you already <clears throat> met Harold, who's uh, designing the sails and having them built in his loft. And then uh, we'll see if we can get in touch with uh, John Emmett, who I think is going to be doing uh, the majority of the actual sewing. So that should be good. And uh, that would all be part of the Essex trip if that happens. Otherwise, I'll just get over there, um, get over there with a camera and uh, my truck. So we'll see. But yeah, some uh, good stuff coming up, and of course the uh, shear planks, which are uh, well, um. I, if you remember the last video, I had to re-glue this one because the, uh, the glue didn't harden in the scarf. I think it was because it probably froze that uh, first night. But we got, got into a little bit warmer weather the past day or two, so let's hope that continues. <clears throat> I've been tossing this rug over the scarf joint at night to kind of... Uh, insulate it from for when the temperature does drop so i think we should be good anyhow yeah so 
making progress. Thanks so much for stopping by building the Alpha Dory. Uh, happy to take your comments, questions, critiques, and whatnot. And a, a massive thank you to everyone who's liked and subscribed. Uh, your support is what keeps this channel going. So, uh, yeah, thanks a lot and look forward to seeing y'all next, uh, <clears throat> next video. Bye.